If you could write 80 pages of your thesis with a single prompt, would you do it? That's exactly what this AI tool claims to offer. So today, we are going to explore this AI platform and see what it can offer. Let's dive in. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Vanda Khalifa. On this channel, we talk about how you can engineer your success, whether getting into graduate school, accelerating your career, or boosting your productivity. If you're driven and ready to level up, you are in the right place. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. So the tool I want us to explore today is Thesis AI. So Thesis AI is an academic writing assistant that creates long-form documents of up to 80 pages using just a topic prompt and your uploaded reference papers. It can even connect with citation managers like Zotero and Mendeley. It also integrates with Latex and Overleaf. You can export it as PDF, BibTeX, or Latex files, and it supports more than 20 languages. This seems to be like a structured citation-based writing system that is designed for academic workflow. So let's check out their platform together. So once you log in, this is how the interface looks like. Pretty sleek. So it says one prompt 80 pages. You can write between 8 and 80 pages and you can export as PDF, Word, Latex and the rest. You can upload or import up to 200 papers to be cited. That's incredible. Export document to Overleaf for manual editing. I think it starts from $5 per document. This is really tempting. We can go through how it looks like in detail and then we'll decide whether this AI tool is worth it. Okay, so let's click on chat. Once you are at the chat, you see a number of items on the left that you can select or you can set. So you have the number of pages that you can select. So for example, if you are writing any document, we can decide the number of pages that we want. Let's pick 25 and then we can select our citation style. Let's say APA, citation level, whether like the whole paper or page citation, document language, English, yes. And then email on completion. Let's leave it at yes. Okay, so this clean layout makes it easy to stay organized before submitting your prompt. So after you set your parameters on the left, I think the next big step is for you to upload documents that you would want cited in your write-up. And as I said earlier, you can upload up to 200 documents, PDF documents, peer review documents. You can also import references directly from Semantic Scholar, Zotero, and Mendeley, which is pretty, pretty useful. If you already have a curated Zotero collection, I think this is probably the most efficient route. Uh, this AI also automatically filters and selects relevant content based on your prompt. So for example, if you don't upload any document, it can filter and suggest content based on the prompt. But the more accurate your references, the stronger the final document. So after you set up your parameters on the left, the number of pages, citation style, citation level, email on completion and language it. What you would want to do is to upload your documents, right? You can also connect Zotero and Mendeley as I initially stated. Let's try and upload a couple of documents. I think you can upload up to 200 documents, but you need at least five documents in order for it to generate a proper response. Okay, so once this is done, let's hit upload. It's uploading as you can see. Uh, it's uploading, have to wait for a while until it's done. It's currently analyzing the papers as well. Now the upload is done. So it's asking you to provide a short description of your topic. You can also prompt a particular structure of sections if you want. Otherwise, just a short description is enough. Write a prompt in the same language as selected in the settings as document language. Okay, this is pretty useful. Okay, so in order not to waste a lot of time, let's keep this at um, so the minimum is eight pages. Wow. So let's keep it at eight pages and then just write on effectiveness. Let's say effectiveness of mpox vaccine uh, and then click the arrow let's see what we get from this 
Okay, so it says I'm writing now. This will take about 15 to 60 minutes, depending on the number of provided files and the number of pages to be written. Okay, so we'll come back and check what it's been able to generate after 15 or 20 minutes time. So we are still waiting for Thesis AI to build up our paper from the references or from the sources we provided. But what usually happens behind the scene is that Thesis AI passes your references materials using semantic filters. It also builds a logical structure based on your topic and your metadata of your papers. Then it generates original text with inline citations following academic conventions. As initially stated, this takes about 5 to 30 minutes depending on your file count and your prompt length. So let's go back and check the results we have. Okay, so we just got a notification that our document is ready. I would say it took about 5 minutes, but the duration will definitely definitely depend on the number of papers you uploaded and the number of pages you requested that you should write. So we can export to Overleaf if we want to manually edit. We can download the PDF or we can go to documents to see other options to download. Let's check how Overleaf looks like. But obviously you have to create an account. In Overleaf I've already created an account. So this is what it shows. We can clearly see the outline here. Introduction overview, global burden, definitions and key methods, factors, integration of vaccination, global equity, future direction, conclusion. So this seems like a pretty well organized paper that obviously if we have the time we will go through and review all this. I think this is quite interesting. You also have your citations and all okay now let's go back to the other options. We can download as PDF let's download as pdf okay so this is what we get from just a single prompt and uploading our documents and even the pdf is well linked to the various pages well i must admit this is really really good but as i said you always have to find the time and go through it make sure every reference is correct make sure every detail is correct but i must say this is quite impressive for what you get from the start right remember that this prompt wasn't really like a very comprehensive prompt it was just generic imagine what you could do if you have like a very unique prompt that is tailored to your research project now let's go to documents and see okay we have one document here so we can download pdf we can export to overleaf we can download all files let's try all files and see what we get okay so if we open this uh let's see yeah, I'm looking for the Word version and it looks like we have Word, PDF, a reference. Yeah, so you can open the Word and then continue your editing from there. This is pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I decided to open the Word document to see what we can do here. So we have an abstract, which is, I believe, pretty standard. There's introduction. We have our background, global context, definition of key metrics for our main topic. Topic. Yeah, so this seems like a very useful first draft that you can work on. Obviously, you would have to read through, make sure paragraphing is good, make sure all the references are accurate, and also ensure that, you know, the bibliography section also is true with respect to the documents that you uploaded. But I think in general, this is a pretty solid draft to get you started. So what can I say? I mean, this tool seems fast and efficient as i always say with respect to using ai tools in academic domains you need to be cautious always verify citations no matter the tool you're using even though they are pulled from the sources that you provided occasional mismatches may still happen and you need to revise the text the structure is strong but some phrasing may be too generic for general submissions you also have to stay within academic integrity guidelines as i always preach Use this as a writing aid, not a substitute for understanding your own work. 
So who should use Thesis AI? I think from what I've seen, Thesis AI may be useful for graduate students working on their thesis or even in their literature review or any paper they are working on. PhD researchers obviously preparing literature reviews, faculty writing grant reports, professionals building technical white papers, multinational users who need formatting and citation in their own language. If you're managing dozens of references and multiple drafts, this tool can free up hours of your time. And for the pricing, I think the pay as you go pricing start at $5 per document. So if you want to generate, say, 80 page document, it starts at $5 per document. And this will include one full draft, up to 200 references, all export formats, overleaf support. I believe this is cost effective compared to software subscriptions or hiring academic editors. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with someone in academia who needs a better writing system. Also, if you want to try this tool, you can use my code BANDA20 for a 20% off your first usage. And let me know in the comment section what you think about this tool. If you want me to review any other AI tool, leave it in the comment section below and I'll review it in our next video. Until next time, take care, stay blessed. Bye-bye.